Good morning. I did not get the best sleep last night, but I have a trick for you for when you wake up and you don't feel good and the day already sucks and you're stressed and you woke up late. And did I mention that you're stressed? Put on a good song literally right when you wake up and just start dancing. Swear to God. I like it works. I don't I don't have the words for the science behind it right now, but here we are. If y'all haven't caught on by now, I start my days in bed, which some say is very counterproductive, but let me show you what I do. I do get up. I go to my kitchen, fill up my bottle of water with kongan water, immediately chug as much kongan water as I can get into my body. And then I make myself a king coffee. This is my pride and joy. I have no other words. It's so good. And then I get back in bed like this and today's the most perfect rainy overcast day. Okay, but what I've been doing is this is my morning routine. I get in bed with my coffee. I read some of a book. This is You Are a Badass. I think I was reading this in one of my older videos, but I reread this book so many times because I mean like, duh. It is so motivational and then I will journal. In the mornings, I like to write out how I wanna feel for the day, my intentions, if I have any leftover emotions for the night, from, from the night. I'm really ready for this journal to be over, completely honest. This journal <laughs> has been through a fucking lot. There's some shit in these pages and I'm tired of writing it. And honestly, I should just go buy a new one. What am I doing? I should go buy a new one. But for some reason, I have this like feeling that I need to fill every page in the journal before I buy a new one. But this is my life, so I should just buy a new one, right? Hmm. Guess that's something to journal about. Okay, well, welcome to my morning. Today's gonna be pretty relaxed. two it is 10 a.m oh, right on schedule i'm about to start working i've been having a lot of really um bad days lately i think this is pretty universal amongst a lot of people right now but there's been this collective energy of like life just being kind of hard and unexpected shit happening mercury retrograde did just happen and end but i mean i don't want to blame all of our problems on the planets now but life has been hard i've had so many bad days a lot of days where i just like really wanted the day to be over my whole life has changed really in the past couple of weeks and it's been like pretty hard to deal with but something i wrote in my journal this morning was you know what's really cool about life even when you have a bad day you know there's a good one to come that's the most simple basic bitch ass quote that you'll find on a t-shirt but how true is it i'm so grateful for bad days because it's a sign that there's a really fucking awesome one right around the corner and dude that's fucking life if we don't have the bad days there's no way we could experience the immense joy and happiness and love and clarity that we do on the really good days. You can't experience happiness without sadness. That's life, it's duality. But anyways, I don't know why that just made me so happy, like thinking about that because I'm having a, a good day. Good days always come around. Like there's an abundance of good days. I forget that on the bad days. And so I really wanna bring this perspective into when I'm having a bad day instead of just 
completely dwelling in it and letting it take over being grateful for the bad day because that means there's an even better day to come how cool is that there's something incredible to look forward to all right work time spending two to two and a half hours at the gym on leg days i can't help it and in the next car there's a card of jesus staring at me i wonder if you can see this that is the man the myth the legend i've been feeling like i'm not an introvert anymore it's not true but lately i've been spending lots of time alone but now it's getting to the point that the more time i spend alone the more i like need to be with other people which i don't think that's how it's supposed to work i think you're supposed to like like the time that you spend alone and i do living alone and doing things alone like going out to eat going to the gym i I fucking love it. I love making dinner for myself. I love making my own bed. I love coming home and having nobody else on the other side to make the temperature 30 degrees hotter at night. But lately it's like, if I spend over 48 hours by myself, even if I'm like voice memoing and texting my friends and whatnot, I become a massive extrovert. I'm making plans with everybody. My whole week is just stocked full of co-working dates. And then I overexert myself and become like this extroverted psychopath. And then I get sick of everybody, hate everyone, ignore everyone, and then go back into my shell for another two days and then do it all over again. I don't really know what to do about that. Um, I need to go. I'm very hungry and I have some videos to edit and savannah is coming over tonight oh my god are you guys about to be savannah fuck yeah first friend on the vlog i got a new fucking character let's go i need to stop cussing so much no actually i don't it's a part of my personality never water yourself down to appease the internet or friends or family be you <laughs> so we're eating food. Mine looks like a big bowl of ground beef because it is. And this is it. same thing, ground beef, rice. But there's so many veggies, colors. sauces, cilantro. Sauces. And that's it. That's all I've got. Hey, bye. <laughs> Savannah's one of my favorite people on the face of this earth. She's just a lovely human. And I acted like I didn't know how to vlog in front of her for some reason. I was like, I don't know what to say. So. There was that. Now I'm just getting my nightly concoction ready. We're gonna need a glass. Um, then I use Natural Calm. Natural Calm is a magnesium citrate powder that's like flavored. As a nutritionist, there are, there are definitely other forms of magnesium that are better than citrate. And the reason that I take that one is because it helps you poop. And then I put in a little bit of tart cherry juice. Tart cherry juice can help with melatonin production. Other than that, I just fill her up. I 
I told you I'd chug it. Could I enjoy it? Sure, but I don't want to. Thank you so much for spending the day with me because most of the time, it's just me, myself, and I. That's all. I'm gonna leave some cards here so you can go watch a previous vlog or my how I quit vaping video, how I kind of quit vaping video. And I almost said peace, love, and blessings. Peace, love, and blessings. <laughs>